Stan Drayton has done it again. What's up, guys? BK, Brad Kellner here. Today is Tuesday, June 29th, 20 and 21. And last night, Texas picked up another commitment for the class of 2022, another running back commitment for the class of 2022. Four-star Jamarion Miller from Tyler Legacy High School in Tyler, Texas, took to Twitter last night to announce his commitment to the University of Texas. Miller is the second running back commit for the Longhorns in the class of 2022, joining Jaden Blue, who is the top ranked running back in the state for the class of 2022. By the way, Jamarion Miller is the second ranked running back in the state for this current class. So right now, Texas has commitments from the two top running backs in the state for the class of 2022. Not too shabby there for Stan Drayton and the Texas Longhorns. What's up, guys? Appreciate y'all stopping by. Please like this video if you haven't done so. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that either. This video is brought to you by Last Stand Hats. You can see the discount code scrolling across the bottom of your screen, but use BK10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase from laststandhats.com, the best damn UT hats in all the land. So Jamarion Miller, the number two running back in the state of Texas, committing to Texas last night. This guy is a track star as well at Tyler Legacy High School, ran a 10-7-1, 100-meter dash last year during his junior year at Tyler Legacy. And his stats on the football field were pretty ridiculous as a junior. Averaged 9.71 yards per carry as a junior at Tyler Legacy last year. He went for 347 yards and four touchdowns in the game against Lufkin, the season opening game last year for Tyler Legacy. About 347 and four from Jamarion Miller. Finished the year with over 1,600 rushing yards along with 20 touchdowns. But another thing that I really like about Jamarion Miller, besides his running prowess, besides the track speed that he possesses, He's a pretty solid receiver. 464 receiving yards and eight receiving touchdowns on 28 catches last year at Tyler Legacy. We've heard Sark talk about it a number of times during his coaching career. He's also talked about it since taking the job here in Austin. He wants to utilize the running backs in his passing game. He thinks the running back is the most underutilized part of passing games around college football. Hell, around football at any level. Jamarion Miller has already shown the ability to to be a receiving threat out of the backfield. And I think that's exactly what Sark is looking for, right? Ta Sark has talked about wanting his running backs to be a part of the passing game. He's also talked about the importance of speed. And those are two attributes that Jamarion Miller absolutely possesses. So I'll give Stan Drayton some love here too, man. Uh, the guy has done yeoman's work on the recruiting trail since – taking over at the running backs coach position at the University of Texas. You see why Sark kept Stan Drayton around, right? I mean, Sark replaced most of Tom Herman's coaching staff when he took the job. Stan Drayton was one of those guys that he kept around. I think most Texas fans were excited at the time and were already seeing the uh, the benefits of that decision. Uh, it's starting to pay off early from Stan Drayton. Once again, commitments from the two top running backs in the state for the class of 2022. And guys, Stan Drayton, he hasn't had a ton to work with in terms of things to sell to these running backs, right? Texas hasn't had a thousand yard back since Deontay Foreman in 2016, who actually well, ran for 2000 plus yards that year and won the Doak Walker. But since then, you know, a Texas running back has not put up ridiculous stats that Stan Drayton can go out on the recruiting trail and say, Hey, look at this, look at what our running backs do yet. Somehow, some way Stan Drayton is finding a way to convince not only top running backs in the state, but also top backs from around the country i.e. B. John Robinson from the state of Arizona last year to uh, commit and ultimately come play football for the University of Texas. Stan Drayton has done a phenomenal job on the recruiting trail. And man, if Sark's offense is able to do the things that we're hoping it can do here in Austin, then the running back recruiting is only going to get better. And it's already been pretty damn good under Stan Drayton. So I will give that dude some love. Uh, he has done a great job filling up that running back room with talent. Didn't even mention Jonathan Brooks, who was Mr. Texas football, uh, four-star back from Hallettsville that Stan Drayton was able to lure in during a transition year, right? Going from Tom Herman to Steve Sarkeesian, uh, he was able to convince Jonathan Brooks to put pen to paper and ultimately sign with UT when he was one of the fastest rising seniors last year on the recruiting trail. So Jamarion Miller commits to Texas, and guys, the the running back room, is as healthy as it's been in a long time here in Austin. I mean, let's start with the current. Let's start with the running back room for the 2021 season. You've got Bijan, 
who's a sophomore. So you've got two more years of Bijan. You've got Rojo. You've got Keelan Robinson, of course, the transfer who followed Sark from Alabama. Uh, Jonathan Brooks, the freshman I just talked about. You also still have Daniel Young, and you still have Gabriel Watson, a couple of seniors who are there for another year. I'm not quite sure how much they're going to be expected to contribute this year. You know, Danny Young early on in his career did some things. He was a part of the running back rotation under Tom Herman. Didn't play last year. He was a COVID opt-out, but he's back this year. A uh, hell of a team player. I mean, that's a guy who could have transferred and found a home and played somewhere else. Wanted to stick it out. Wanted to graduate from UT. Wanted to be a part of this team. So even if Danny Young doesn't get a single carry, in 2021, I think he can contribute to that running back room in some form or fashion. Gabriel Watson showed us some things uh, in the spring game. I don't think, once again, he's expected to do that much, but uh, former D2 star who transferred up from, uh, I should say, transferred down from Sioux Falls before last season, uh, he's back for another year. So that running back room is loaded. Uh, is Kirk Johnson still here? I don't think Kirk Johnson is still here. I feel like we talked about that dude every offseason for like 10 years. I uh, always had high expectations and high hopes for Kirk Johnson, but injuries played a part and he just could never see the field. I don't think Kirk Johnson is still a part of things. But that's it right there, guys. Bijan, Rojo, Keelan Robinson, Jonathan Brooks, Danny Young, and Gabriel Watson. Those are six quality running backs that you have in your backfield. And I think we're going to see some 20 personnel. I think we're going to see some 21 personnel, maybe some 22 personnel from Steve Sarkeesian this year because of the almost embarrassment of riches that he has in this running back room. I mean, you've got some talent there. We know Bijan is unbelievable, one of the best running backs in college football. Sark loves Rojo, phenomenal team player. He's a great spell type of back. Keelan Robinson, I think, gives you some versatility. Uh, he's a guy who might be a Tony Pollard type for the Cowboys where he can give you something in the passing game as well. Like, I think Sark's going to have a tough time only having one running back on the field at a time. And Sark talks about wanting to get his best 11 guys on the field all the time well, with all of these running backs that Texas has, uh, the best way to do that might be having at least two of these dudes on the field at the same time. And when you look at the wide receiver room, you don't have a lot of proven, uh, proven commodities on the outside. And Jake Smith and the transfer portal right now, you just don't have a lot of guaranteed dudes on the outside for this football team. You're optimistic about Jordan Whittington. You're optimistic about Troy O'Meary. Uh, Joshua Moore's been a solid player here. Xavier Worthy's generating rave reviews from – coaches and teammates and insiders alike, but man, I, I, it just feels like you have more proven commodities in that running back room right now. And look, hopefully Sark has the ability to just pick and choose from all of those backs and receivers and just find a way to have studs on the field at all times. And hopefully Texas has enough depth to where if they can give guys plays off and you won't see a tremendous drop off in terms of talent, in terms of speed, in terms of explosivity, that's where you'd like to be. But just on paper, it feels like Texas has more, dudes at running back and tight end than it does at wide receiver right now. So you might see multiple running backs on the field at all times. And Sark has talked about, you know, I mentioned earlier how much he values the running back in the passing game. He also has talked about the running back being the identity of his offense. And Bijan's clearly the best player on this offense. He's going to be the identity of this Texas football team. So Sark values the running back position a lot in multiple ways. And, uh, yeah, I do think we're going to see a lot of 20 or 21 personnel from this Texas football team this year because the backfield room is just too deep at this point. And that's a great problem to have. I'm making it sound like it's a bad thing. No, it's a first-world problem that Texas has at running back. So that's the running back room this year. Then you look ahead to next year. Well, you have all of those guys that I just mentioned, except for Danny Young and Gabriel Watson. And then, as of right now, you've got the two top running back recruits in the state in Jaden Blue and Jamarion Miller. So your running back room is going to be even more loaded in 2022 than it is in 2021. Maybe at some point one of those guys or two of those guys transfers because they want to get more playing time and they realize, hey, there's just not enough carries for me here. But just on paper right now, you feel great about the running back room this year and then, of course, next year too. Uh, and Stan Drayton deserves a lot of credit. And, man, we're all pumped to see what Bijan can do in the Steve Sarkeesian offense. Bijan's here for two more years. It's good to know that you've got horses in the stable beyond just Bijan, not only for this year, but also for when uh, his time comes and he heads off to the NFL. Didn't even mention Ruben Owens, who is not committed right now. One time Texas commit, the top ranked running back in the country for the class of 2023. Uh, decommitted a few weeks ago, but Texas, according to him, very much in the mix. So, 
man, if Bijan can have a great year and if Texas offensively can have a pretty good year, then I think uh, there's a good chance Ruben Owens ultimately commits to Texas once again. But he's still two years away, so still a lot of work left on the uh, recruitment of Ruben Owens. But point is, guys, Texas is in a good spot with its running back room right now. So Jamarion Miller committing to Texas yesterday. Great news for Texas. Once again, a guy with track speed, a guy who put up really gaudy numbers as a junior at Tyler Legacy, a guy who has shown the ability to be a pass-catching threat out of the backfield Miller had offers from a bunch of schools, uh, some high-profile schools across the country. I know he recently took visits to A&M and to Florida. So Texas getting commitments over those two schools, always, always a good thing. And uh, Stan Drayton, once again, man, tip of the uh, proverbial cap for the job that he's done. He's recruited some dudes to play running back at the University of Texas. And once again, if these running backs start to put up numbers that we expect in the Steve Sarkeesian offense, then uh, his job's only going to get easier and he's going to be able to bring in more and more talented pieces year in and year out. So there you go. Great news on the recruiting front for Texas. Miller is the 12th commitment for the Longhorns for the class of 2022. I believe right now, according to the 24-7 composite rankings, Texas has the 12th ranked class in the country. Uh, number two in the Big 12 behind Oklahoma, but still a long way to go in this cycle. And once again, if Sarkin makes some things happen on the field for Texas this fall, uh, recruiting is only going to pick up. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate the love. Please like this video if you haven't yet. Please subscribe to this channel and hit that little notification bell as well. Once again, laststandhats.com is today's video sponsor. Use code BK10 at checkout to get 10% off your purchase of any Last Stand hat. And uh, comment below with your thoughts on Texas's running back room and also thoughts or ideas for future videos. I do this for you guys. So any feedback is much appreciated. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to catch the triple option with RBKD weekdays from 3 to 7 on the Horn and online at hornfm.com. Until next time, y'all stay safe, y'all stay healthy, and hook